Hello, my name is Gavin Holsworth from the Center for Sovereign Nations. Today, we're making a do and don'ts of participating in a Zoom interview. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna have two of our friends from the Center. First is gonna be Sean Ray. He's gonna demonstrate what you should be like as a Zoom interviewee. Next, Brendan is gonna be what you shouldn't be for a Zoom interviewee. I'll be the Zoom interviewer. I'll be making comments throughout the mock interviews. So let's just get started. Here's Sean. Hello, Sean. Thanks for applying to work at the Center for Sovereign Nations. We're excited to have you today. Yes, so I did email you uh, another copy of my resume, uh, just to be sure. It has all my updated information on it. And uh, any questions you have, please be, feel, uh, feel free to email me and just let me know. Um, I'm open and willing to talk about any of the different projects that I have, if you have more questions on that, uh, or any of the technical ex experience that I've, that, I've, um, that I've earned through those. This is a smart thing to do before your interview. Sending over an extra copy to your interviewer uh, shortly before the interview is really smart and helps underprepared interviewers like myself. Really looking forward to the interview today. Uh, I got really prepared and I'm in a, a quiet space right now. Um, no distractions and um, just solely focused on this interview. All right, let's point all the things Sean is doing right. Notice he's in a really quiet area and it, the, the right amount of lighting in the location, that really does matter because the interviewer, they're gonna see all these things, but they're only gonna see everything in that box. He's also well-dressed, and there's a little space above his head, but not too much. He's just overall really well-positioned for the interview. It's the right balance of not being too far, but not being too close. It's obvious that Sean picked his background well. Uh, clean, not distracting, blank walls work great. Also, try to avoid communal areas. Noise is another big thing to consider. If you absolutely can't ensure this, you can always use the mute function on Zoom to stay muted until it's time to respond. Just make sure you're proficient in navigating Zoom before any interview. Lighting is another really important thing to consider when holding your Zoom interview. I'm sure most of you know this, but you want light to be coming this way towards you from the side above or on this side. You don't want it coming from behind you towards the camera. It just looks weird and sometimes can even blind the view. It's obvious that Sean's lighting is perfect. One thing for him to consider though, you don't wanna be interrupted by family or friends, so make sure to communicate that with anybody that's in the house or in the area before you have your interview. Also, remember those notifications. You don't want those notifications going off your phone or your laptop. All right, great job, Sean. Now, let's, let's go see Brendan's interview. Really, I'm really excited for this interview. Um... I think I'm a great candidate for the position. Um, I've got a lot of experience. You can see that in my resume that I sent you. Um, yeah, I think I'd be great for the job. Okay, right off the bat, his attire is completely casual and unprofessional. Really? Sweatpants and jeans right there? Okay, and next, get rid of the hairband, bro. That's not okay. <laughs> this all goes back to just being as professional as you can. Next, the background, it is way too messy. He needs to clean that up and show less of it and more of himself. He needs to move forward a little bit in the camera frame. There's a lot of things to correct, but we're gonna try to hit the main ones. As you noticed, you know, he's in his dorm. We do know that some of you will have a Zoom interview in your dorm, which is okay, as long as you clean it up and make it look professional, unlike Brendan's here. Lastly, under no circumstances should you ever eat or chew gum during a Zoom interview. All right, let's see how the rest of this plays out. Oh, the light back there? Don't worry about the light. It doesn't bother me anymore. Are those lights bothering you? Okay, let me, let me shut my shades then. Yeah, that's better. Oh, is it really bothering you? They're bothering you now? I can't really do anything about it, I'm sorry. What's your question again? Well, we hope these two examples helped you guys navigating your Zoom interviews. We know it can be tough. As always, we want you to come visit the Center for Sovereign Nations. We're located in Life Sciences East Room 105. And please check out our social media. Thank you.